you got to give them an offer they can't refuse. I mean, that's the godfather. Everybody knows this. I've been watching The Sopranos and it's made me think of that. And it truly translates into business. What is that offer that you're going to give somebody that they just can't refuse? Um, business is built on giving out offers and getting people to respond to the offer. Look at any business that's out there. Look at any advertisement that's on TV. The t advertisement on TV is not just, hey, this is our great product. It's, hey, if you come in today, we will give you this offer. You know, uh, the genius is Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A um, does free sandwiches and they market to the different schools in our area and they give boxes of these free sandwich coupons to give to the kids if they get good grades or they do something special or whatever and the teachers and the principals and all that stuff have the freedom to give these coupons out to uh, their kids and they take them home and so of course they come home and they're so excited they got a free chick-fil-a sandwich and everybody loves going to chick-fil-a especially when you're a little kid and you go home and you tell your parents most parents are not going to say oh i'm sorry we can't go to chick-fil-a you're going to have to throw that in the trash they're going to be like oh great i'm so glad you got great grades or you did this in school and you got this chick-fil-a coupon and they take them to chick-fil-a but it's just for a free sandwich doesn't include the fries, doesn't include the drink, and it doesn't include the food for the rest of the family. So imagine a family of four, one kid comes home with a Chick-fil-A sandwich, the family walks out buying three meals and a, and a fry and a drink for the kid that won the free sandwich. It's genius. It gets people in the door. It gets people to do and respond to something that they're doing. It gives them an offer they can't refuse. So what is your offer that they can't refuse? In photography, it's not giving out a Chick-fil-A coupon so that they come in and buy more, but there's similarities to what we do. What can you give to get somebody in the door? One of my favorite quotes is uh, from Mark Rosetto, who is a coach that I worked with a, a while back, and he is amazing. And one of the things that he said was, your number one job is to get butts in seats. Your number one job is to get butts in seats. Once you get butts in seats, you can wow them with your business. You can wow them with your photography. You can wow them with uh, your <laughs> everything else that comes along with being a client of yours. But you can't do that if they're not in your seat. To do that, you have to give them something that makes them want to respond. We do a variety of different things in our business from, uh, as you've heard, wanted ads where we're looking for people and you get a discounted session to gift vouchers where you get a, a discounted session and, uh, and percentage, uh, like a not a percentage, we never do percentages, but like uh, a, 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 an amount off of your products. So what is your offer? And your offer can be great if you need to bring in clients and your offer can back off if you're overwhelmed with clients, but you're just trying to keep a steady thing. That offer can always change as your business ebb and flows. Look at any business that's out there. You can tell how business is going usually with, a, uh, with anybody when you see the kind of offers that they're putting out. If they're saying, buy one, get one free, it's a slow time and they're probably needing you to come in and buy one, get one free. They're giving you something for free if you buy one, right? The other side of that is price yourself accordingly. So if you're giving a $250 gift voucher and your opening price for something that you can purchase from your studio is $200, then they actually have a $50 credit after they bought the cheapest item that's on your menu. You have to price yourself that makes it work for whatever you're doing and whatever you're offering. So if you're offering a $250 gift voucher, you need to price it at three, four, five hundred dollars for your minimum item, because once they use that gift voucher, they're still going to be handing you over money. So take that in consideration. I know it can be a pain point for some of you sometimes to have to raise your prices because you the, the back of your brain says, they're going to judge me and they're going to say I'm too expensive. And then, nah, 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 nah. but that's when you have to remind them after you use your $250 gift voucher, your product is this price. There is nothing free in this world. And some people think that there are. And in photography, unfortunately, we see it a lot where people think that if I 
get a free session, I should get all my photos for free. And that's because some photographers do that. They don't separate their photography and their actual physical or digital products. If you're one of those photographers, I would challenge you to separate those two things. Doing a $300 session and giving people 30 digitals is not doing you any favors because do the math on those digitals. 30 digitals divided by 300 is not a lot of money and you're not running a business if you're doing that. You're doing a hobby and you're doing a disservice for yourself and the whole entire photography community because you're not making any money and you're running yourself ragged probably and you're also hurting the businesses that are trying to make money because the perception of the public is that photography should be worth $300 for a session and I'm going to give you all the product. Stop doing that. If you're one of those people, stop, stop, stop doing that. Give them an offer that they can't refuse. Get them in the studio, get their butts in seats, give them photo photos that they cannot walk away from. And that $250 gift voucher or $100 gift voucher or whatever that number is, is going to be a moot point. Because once they see those photos, they're gonna say, I came in today to spend $300, but now your digital pricing for 15 digitals is $1,500. And I have to have those 15 digitals or those 15 portraits uh, in, in a box or, or in an album or whatever that is for you. So think through that. What is that offer that they can't refuse that you want to put out there? If you're looking to build your portfolio, that offer might be bigger than what it's going to be a year from now when your business is running smoothly. If your business is running smoothly, that offer could be lower. But when you have slow seasons or slow times of the year, you might have to up that offer to get more people in the studio. So make that, it's all an ebb and flow thing. And you have to make those decisions as you see your business ebb and flow. I hope that's helpful. And I hope that encourages you to give them an offer that they can't refuse so that you can get them in the studio and you can start making money and you can start providing an amazing studio service to your clients and to your family.